AMD, why are you doing this? Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today we're gonna to be talking about the ridiculousness that has been the 6800 XT AIB partner card launch. We're also gonna be talking about the 6700 XT that is starting to pop up on the internet. But first we're gonna talk about this terrible, terrible launch that has been this 6800 XT AIB partner cards. It has been an absolute crap show, guys. It's been terrible. I can't believe that AMD is not being more transparent and giving us more information about what's going on after this debacle because this is just ridiculous. There were people that went to Micro Center and stayed there all night in the cold waiting for this card, waiting to get this card just to find out that Micro Center had zero stock. They had no stock of these partner cards, none, because they didn't get sent any. And AMD didn't tell us. And Micro Center, in their defense, they did try to put out a, an official statement to say, hey, we haven't gotten these and we aren't gonna have them today. They did try, so I would like to give them their due respect because they did try to let people know. You know, they, I felt like they probably could have put a little more effort into that, but you know, if you aren't looking for the information, you probably wouldn't find it anyway. But people out in the cold all night, freezing, suffering through that cold to make sure they can get this product, and they don't. They don't because AMD pretty much just crapped on all of us. And it comes back on me and I look bad because I'm out here trying to help you guys, giving you guys information to help y'all get these cards. Then it just turns out being wrong because they lied to us, they gave us false information. It's disrespectful, that's what it is. You know, they've not tried to say anything about this failed launch. They've not tried to address it in any sort of way. They've not talked about it. They've said nothing. It's like spitting on our face. It's like, hey, hey guys, hey, hey, I'll be a partner to car cards through tomorrow. Hey, through tomorrow. That's what they did. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't keep that. <laughs> I don't appreciate it. I really don't. And I'm sure y'all don't either. It's not respectful. It's disrespectful. And the crappy part about it is, is they're not even talking about it. I don't have any other information as far as what's happening and when it's gonna happen to give you guys because they didn't address this completely failed and lied launch that they put out there. It just, they didn't say anything. Now, I suppose one of the bonus things that comes out of this whole ordeal uh, is it does give us the opportunity to actually use those methods I provided you guys. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I made two different videos. There's two separate methods on how you can help yourself get the best chances of getting these graphics cards whenever they do come back in stock. So if you want to check those out, there's two different videos here, put them back to back and check those out. AMD's not addressing the stock issue. They're not saying anything. So I don't know when these things are gonna be in stock or back in stock. I don't know, they're not talking about it. So your best bet is to set these trackers up because they are there on the websites now. So that does allow you to go ahead and set these trackers up. So if you haven't done it, definitely do it. Let somebody else know, share it, share the method with them. You know, spread the love guys. Or maybe don't, I guess, cause they could be scalpers. Only do it with close friends. So. 6700 XT, what's up? The 6700 and the 6700 XT have had more information leaked about their specs. It's looking like these GPUs will be using the Navi 22 chip and come with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. These GPUs were expected to be coming out later next year, but it looks like AMD has had a change in delivery plan and will be pushing for these things to come out by January 2021, which Makes sense, they need to get as much product out there as possible because people are hungry. Hungry for graphics. According to Boot Sequence and some theory crafting, these new cards will have the following specs. Now, this information source is coming from Patrick Schur on Twitter, which has had previous leaks in the past and he's been correct so far. So if this kind of information is something you're wanting to stay up to date on, interested in whatever it is you know go ahead and subscribe if you're not because i am going to be covering this stuff as much as i possibly can if there's any new de developments or any new information that happens i'm going to be sure to let you guys know so you know subscribe if you're not 
I do have all the PC parts here. If you guys have been with me, you know that I've been talking about starting to do PC builds on this channel. I did want to kind of pick y'all's brain a little bit before I went ahead and started to try to record doing that because I was kind of interested in possibly uh, making a Twitch and live streaming the build there and throwing in some edits and making it look a little bit better and putting it on YouTube afterwards. So if you guys wanted to watch it live or if you wanted to watch it on YouTube, you know, it would kind of make it to where I would possibly be able to grow the channel a little bit faster. Um, so I just wanted to kind of pull you guys a little bit there before I just made some decisions because you guys are the ones watching the content. So I wanted to see what you guys thought, you know, take that into consideration before I made too many decisions on my own. So if you guys want to let me know about that, you know, let me know in the comments. What, let me give me your thought. Now you guys know I got to shout out my Patreons. You guys are amazing. I appreciate your support so very much. I thank you, thank you, thank you. I've touched on it lightly. I did transfer from a previous career into this space, forcibly because of the pandemic. Um, so I am trying to make the most of it, trying to make the best of it. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, it's a blessing for sure. And I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're a subscriber, I appreciate your subscription. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're a viewer, you've just watched the video this far, I thank you as well. It helps. As always, if there's any questions, confusions, concerns, whatever it may be, don't hesitate to ask. I don't mind helping. I really don't. I'm really trying to build something for you guys here, and I hope y'all want to be part of it. A simple like, share, subscribe, comment, they go so far for the show. It really helps me continue to grow and make content. Now, if there was something you didn't like, thought I could have done better, whatever it may be, please feel free, leave a thumbs down. I just ask you to let me know what it was so I can continue to improve and do better. I can't improve if I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I like to do that, so please let me know. And with that said, I hope you can like, I hope you can subscribe. And if not, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe, specifically. We'll see you.